So now we're gonna start doing a uh, arthroscopic biceps tenodesis. Uh, it's gonna be a super pec technique. So as opposed to an open sub pec or an arthroscopic intraarticular, or even an arthroscopic in the groove, this is gonna be a super pec technique, which really is important to use ultrasound for. The techniques that have been described very well have been to go in, find the actual biceps uh, intraarticularly using spinal needles and set what they call goal posts and then go into the subacromial space and find, then unroof it. The problem with that is you can easily hurt and damage the uh, supraspinatus tendon. This way, the biceps come through the notch and actually exits uh, the notch and actually exits all the soft tissue just before it dives under the pec. So we can take advantage of that and go directly to the spot. So here's the thing. If in fact we're superior, we see the biceps there, and we see the groove there. And if we follow it down, you see it flattens out and exits the groove there. And then we start seeing the pec arrive there. So we need a spot between that pec and that notch, which is actually right there. So we know there's our spot. That's the spot we wanna be in. That's gonna be not where the pec is, and not where the notch is. And I'm gonna just change the orientation a bit. So I move the arm a little bit of external rotation so I can see a little bit better, so it's more in fast. And so coming up, there's the notch. There's a notch very clearly there. And we're gonna follow it down. And that's pretty much where we wanna be. So there's our spot as it exits the notch. So notch, no notch. So that's gonna be our spot right there. So that's actually how we're gonna make our incisions. Can I have the uh, pen, please? So we know right under that spot is where we wanna be. So that's where we actually wanna make our incisions. So we're gonna make our incisions here and here that are basically surrounding because our biceps tendon is gonna be running right there in that center area. And we know because we set the arm in position, we have this Tremano wand to make sure we're in the right spot. So now we have our positioning. We can wipe off all the gel. We can make our incisions. We can go ahead and undermine the deltoid so we can get in and create a space in that area. So now I've created a potential space where I can see, create an arthroscopic space. And I just make sure I can see it really nicely and I can clear it out. And now we can come in with our scope and take a look. And there you go, you can see it pretty easily, pretty quickly right there. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the area of some soft tissue. And we should fall right onto the biceps right there. Boom, there it is. You can see the biceps instantly. So you can see there's no guessing. There's no messing around about where I am, where I need to be. Here's your biceps. And what we can do for the tenodesis is I can move it over to the side and then go ahead and make our hole. And then basically we're just gonna take our forked swivel lock in here Right there, Kelly. See it right there? I need you to hold the camera. Okay. Okay. So once I have that, I've grabbed my tissue. I've forced it into the hole. Kelly. Right there, buddy. And then basically I'm just gonna screw in the screw into the hole to tina these the biceps into the humerus. There we go, perfect, good. You can see that the biceps is tenodesed into the hole there. But this was something that only could be done with ultrasound to be able to identify where it was to be able to fall in so quickly and easily to find it.